Sculptform products save you time and money due to their fast and easy installation and are incredibly versatile thanks to their modular design. The entire Sculptform system is built on a patented batten clip. No matter which product or material you're working with, our proprietary clip system ensures a smooth install process. In this video, you're going to learn our six-step process for installing timber click-on battens. This is what you'll receive as part of your order. Acoustic backing, L-profile trim, mounting track with pre-fitted clips, battens. These can either be timber or aluminium. Installation guide, batten removal tool, joiner strips, and finally, some spare standard sliding clips to allow you to make any slight adjustments. First things first, you need to check your substrate is plumb and straight. Our system can be attached to timber stud walls, masonry or steel frames. We're cladding a timber stud wall, so we'll be using our 45 by 25 mm standard track. All tracks come with the clips pre-fitted in our factory according to the design specifications. Step two is to install trims. Install the perimeter angle, including sides and the bottom. The angle is a measure to prevent the battens from sliding. Step three is set out considerations. You need to consider a few points before you install the tracks. The first thing to consider is how the battens will interface with the ceiling. Take into account what lining the ceiling is going to have, if any. We're going to line the ceiling with battens as well, so we're going to run our wall battens 100 millimeters past the ceiling. The second thing to consider is the overall size of the wall. You'll always align the clips on the tracks to the center of the wall so you have an even margin on both sides. This is the simplest method, but remember to consider whether your application needs each end to start with a batten or a gap. You may need to trim tracks to fit your specifications. Step four is to install the tracks. Fit the first track using a string line or laser line, then complete the same process for the rest of the tracks, ensuring the clips of each track are aligned. Before attaching each track, notch the end to fit above the edge angle. Continue attaching the remaining tracks at the required spacings for your batten material, making sure the batten cantilever does not exceed the recommended limit of 150mm. The track should be spaced according to the specific project engineering requirements. Typically, 600mm for timber battens and 1200mm for aluminium in interior applications. Step 5 is to install the acoustic backing. Before you install it, make sure you cut each piece to length. Your acoustic backing fits in between the tracks. Pro tip, when cutting the acoustic backing, we recommend a sharp Stanley knife with a snap blade so you can achieve a straight edge every time. Make sure your cut is in line with a clip so that the edge will be hidden by one of the battens. Fit the acoustic backing by first inserting the bottom edge into the specifically designed groove in the track, then bend it slightly to fit into the grooves in the track above. If you need to use a tool to help guide the backing into place, ensure you don't mark the visible face of the backing. Step six is to install the battens. If you're working with anything except exact length battens, you'll need to trim each batten to fit your wall. Our random length battens are supplied end matched. This end matching will need to be cut off at the top and bottom of your wall. In combination with end matching, a batten joiner is used to align the butt ends of the battens. The joiner slides into the dovetail groove at the back of each batten. To click on the battens, you need to rest the batten on the base angle. Make sure the batten is aligned with all the clips. Lightly hit the batten corresponding with each clip and work your way up. Pro tip, it's best to use a dead blow hammer to install the battens. When using a dead blow hammer, you'll notice you only need to use a fraction of the force to achieve the same result. The alternative is a white-faced rubber mallet. Continue the same process until you've covered the entire wall. Removing battens. To remove the battens, use our batten removal tool provided with every order. Use the tool to separate the track by putting the tool's prongs into the track throat. Squeeze until one click is heard and gently pull on the battens to disengage. Battens over 50mm wide may require a second removal tool on the other side of the batten. Pro tip, if you squeeze it for more than one click, you could compromise the connection. Continue along the batten to remove all the clips and the batten will then come freely away from the track. If you have any questions that we didn't cover in this video, then feel free to call us on 1800 008 828.